It is another exciting edition of Shipwork here at Russell Steaks Chops and More. I'm Clay Moden and Bill Yonke is the founder, president, guru, all around, does everything for Liberty Cab. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Clay. So um, there's a lot I want to ask you because so many things have changed in your industry. But take me back to the beginning. You know, you've done this for over 40 years. How did this all start for you? Well, it started with uh, three taxi cabs about 40 years ago, and now we have over uh, 416 vehicles. Amazing. You know, the word cab, let's talk about that right away, right? That, that word has, uh, it's been pretty generic, but things have changed in your industry. So let's talk about the word cab and cab drivers. Well, that's true. Uh, when we first started, they were cab drivers, taxi drivers. Uh, I think people now are, are, are used to the word ride share. So we became a ride sharing uh, ground transportation company as well. We're probably more rideshare than the rideshare companies that are, are here in Buffalo right now. That's a really good point too, and uh, you guys are pretty much everywhere now. Uh, you've seen Buffalo change. What do you think about it so far? I think it's great. You know, I mean, just think about the stuff. We have the best restaurants here, the events we have. We have the Buffalo Bills, we have the Sabres. I mean, there's so much to do. Now, the cab driver or a ground transportation driver, he's gotta know what's happening in town. So we feed our drivers all the time uh, you know, with events that are happening, you know, things like concerts, you know, it was just amazing. I mean, people just are moving and they, they know that they want to get there. They want to get home and pay a regular price. You know, there's no surge pricing at Liberty. We charge the same price that you go on the way home. We used to say this, the very first and last person a tourist will see in our city will be a cab driver or a ride sharing driver. Mm. And so we want to leave them with that good impression. It's the first impression and the last impression. And the last. All right, so obvious question in your industry, who's the most famous person you've ever had in a, in a car? Oh. Or called you and said, hey, can you pick me up? It was Andre the, Andre the Giant. No kidding. Yes. Andre the Giant, Andre the, the former, giant. former wrestler. He was staying at the Adams Mark. I will tell you that he did not actually, his whole body did not fit into the vehicle. <laughs> his actually, his feet, it was outside the window. Get out of as here. It went, yeah, it's, it's a funny story. Was it you that drove? No, I did not drive. But he, he, and of course, we also, when we were playing the uh, New York uh, Jets, uh, they didn't have a curfew back then. And so when I, we were getting beat quite a bit, and I found out what club he was at. And so I sent my drivers over to make sure uh, that he had a lot of drinks. No kidding. Uh, we still lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. But it's kind of fun stuff. Yeah. What is the longest drive you've ever been requested to do? Uh, we actually had one drive that went to uh, Houston. Oh. Yeah, people take it for many reasons. Planes, obviously, they, they do get grounded. Right. And some people have events. Uh, New York, we do quite a bit. New York City, uh, uh, if they got to be somewhere in the morning, uh, I don't know if I want to be in a vehicle for eight hours. Yeah, that's true. But uh, it has happened, yeah. No kidding. We so, go to Cleveland all the time. We go to Detroit all the time. So, you know, the, the industry has changed. Technology is huge. Oh, my God. How has it changed what you do? A hundred percent turnaround. Uh, the automation, we are at probably 90% of our business right now is automated, either through the websites, uh, the networks we have, like we uh, national uh, network we have is Curb. Carhu is a fairly new one. Uh, we have our own app called Ride, R-I-I-D-E. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, we'll give them a $10 bonus uh, if they download that Ride app today. Perfect. Uh, or listening, and it's Ride uh, Local One, and they'll get $10 off on their first ride. Okay. And you don't have to give up your, your credit card. No kidding. You just put in cash and you'll still get your $10 uh, discount. It's amazing because you used to have to have somebody hail you a cab or call for transportation, but now it's on your phone. Did you ever expect that to happen? No, I didn't. I, you know, when, when the cell phones came, came out, it, that was a start. Right. People started calling direct. And so we want our drivers to build up a nice uh, piece of business for themselves. You like the driver, you want that same driver. Right. And so you can request that same driver to come pick you up. Has anybody ever left anything in the car that's unique? Have you ever found big money in the car, anything like that? Boy, now you're gonna make me think on this one. Uh, we used to have a lost and found, the biggest item that's lost. I can't tell you how many cell phones I have in my office. We finally donated them no to kidding. a charity. So they do go someplace then? They do go somewhere. So GPS has obviously changed the way people drive, but you yourself, do you know the area back and forth? If people quizzed you on roads, could you do it? I could. I can tell you when I first started, I used to 
I, I, I could tell you where every pay phone was in the city of Buffalo. <laughs> there had to I be a lot there, of them. I was there stickering phones, and that's how we started. Stickering phones. And Jeez, phone that's a thing you don't see anymore. So, you know, I was talking, I was talking earlier today there where uh, I asked my grandson uh, if he knew what, a, what our portable phone was, and I, I said it was a pay phone. He had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So, you know, things have changed, and we have to change with it. Yeah. Ground transportation had a change in Buffalo. Uh, you want to make sure your, your car is coming. You want to make sure it's safe, and it's a real high priority today. Uh, you know, I'm a real advocate for uh, background checks in all industry. They do it in buses. They do it in airlines. They got to start doing this in ground transportation as well. For sure. And I'm talking about even rideshare. I don't believe with all these stories that are so out there that, that seem negative, you got to know who's driving you. And I think we fit that need here in Buffalo. But our voice communication with clients and our complaints have, have dipped so low that technology has made our service better. It connects the, uh, the, the customer and the driver. We scramble the number so they don't know your number. So we're very heavy on security. Absolutely. Very heavy on security. I think in this day and age, you have to be. So before I let you go, is there one person that you, if the phone rang, that's the person that you're going to drive? Who would it be? Famous, living or not, if there's one person you could drive. <laughs> the phone rings and they say, I need a ride from you. Oh, boy, that's a good trick question. That's why I'm here. Uh, if he was alive, I, I think I would have said Elvis Presley. I, I, you know, I think he would have been a cool guy to put in the back seat. Would you ask no. for an autograph? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, a long, it's a long, lonely highway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's, a it's a long way back to Nashville. Yeah, it's a long way. Or Memphis. But we have, you know, every, every driver has a story and they come back, you know. Uh, they, they use us to, sometimes to go to the concerts and it's kind of cool, mm -hmm. you know. So they're having their own experiences. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations with the Ride app and everything that you've done with Liberty Cab. Well, thank you so much Here's for having Here's to 40 me. more great years. Thank you so much. It's Bill from Liberty Cab, another great edition of Shift Work here at Russell Steaks Chops and More. Be my guest and let us do the rest.